In Xanadu did Kublai Khan a stately pleasure dome decree, where Elf the sacred river ran through caverns measureless to man, down to a sunlit sea. Let's play a little, shall we? Well, here we are, back where we left off. We are in the town of Wither. We've pretty much explored everything, but uh, I think we could use uh, another bit of uh, supplies. So let's have a quick look at the shops. Fortune and Fortune, purveyors of white coke and mutter salt, payment in stories. Right, we can't buy anything there because they require Z stories. The Hunter's Cage, the sign reads Bones Please. The proprietor is wary of light, but will sell you beast meat. Okay, um... We can buy supplies for one tale of terror. We have one tale of terror. Do we want to spend it on supplies? Hmm... Not just yet. Okay. Where are we on the map? Right, we're here in Wither. I think we go up and look around this bay and perhaps work our way back down again. I don't want to go too far from home just yet because we're still new. Goodness me, what an interesting, uh, well I presume trees. Those are all right, let's see if we can navigate our way through these narrow islands. By going in a straight line. Oh, the map stopped scrolling, I think. We have run out. What happens if we go to the edge? We bounce back. Okay. So, this is the top of the map so far, it would seem. So, we are... In fact, heading south. Not a huge map by the looks of it, but let's be honest here. It's is still a very new game. Oh. July the 21st, 1892. Something drifts face down. Gosh, this is such a pleasant place. I don't know about you lot, but I know where I'm going on my holidays. Just checking to see where we are. Ah, what do we have here? You've discovered Puckridge's Lookout. Not a town by the looks of it though, just a place. Nothing special there. This must be Void's approach. The air crackles with frosty radiations. To the north, the full stars fall in the darkness. Okay. Ah, that looks like there is a town. Just there. Let's go and have a look, shall we? I've been wondering about the logic of leaving the lights on all the time. It probably attracts uh, attention to me in the game, but I think without it, it probably wouldn't be quite such a, a nice video. There is a port. Let's say hello to them. Boreal Reach. Is this snow? Touch it and it puffs into vapour. The men huddle close to the warmth of the pipe and funnel. The Isle of Codex. Codex, a desperate capable of mute exiles and an inexplicable colony of shivering, bad-tempered monkeys. 
I can't do anything there. Ooh. Alright, there is a, a provisioners. But they survive for 20 echoes, so I think I will hold until I get back to London. And no shipyard. There is nothing we can do here. So, I suggest we do it. Okay, where are we? Okay, we shall look at the... Uh, come down here. And then... Oh dear, this... <laughs> yeah, this map, it's a little bit hard to use. Can I use the keys? No, I can't use the keys. There we go. We'll go down to Hunter's Keep. I want to stop at this lighthouse, and then we'll go to Fallen London. Okay. Ooh. Unexpected rock. Oh, glowy, glowy crab creature. Has he seen us? No. Ah, oh, they're called Lifebergs. Interesting. Yes, I thought that one would touch me. Those rifts in a Lifeberg surface. Are they mouths? Lifebergs do not breathe. They kill from malice, not hunger. But they speak. Dear Christ, do they speak. We can fight, we cannot distract it, or we can sacrifice a sailor to attract the life Berg's attention. This is probably a bad idea. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's get some light up quickly first, see what happens. Thirty-seven, yes, the second one will do the trick. So, I think we spend one fuel. We don't have much left, but I think we have enough for one attack. And then we'll go to these. Oh, hold on, hold on. Be doing the wrong ones, haven't I? Alright, they've got enough, so let's do... Alright, let's do a couple of, let's do at least one devastating salvo, see what happens. Not enough light, okay, let's do these. What is that? Smell fear, Decre increases a little, oh, interesting. Ah, uh, look at our terror. Oh dear. We, I don't think we're going to come first on this one, so... Alright, let's evade to lower our illumination a little. Alright, we are hurting it. Okay, it's got us up to maximum illumination, but it's still doing seek. That's interesting. This one worries me. Okay, we'll get. Okay, let's just hit it a few times. I think we'll win this. But this has terrified our crew, and at the looks of it, it's terrified us. Yes, I don't think we want to encounter these any more than we have to. Hopefully there's a good reward. And we've won. What remains? We have one Z story. And... Your cache of curiosity's quality is now exclamation mark. Okay. A box full of mystery. Interesting. Okay, opening a cache of curiosities. What's inside? A rich wild scent. Whatever's in these barrels smells heavenly. Peaches! Such peaches, amber and dawn. A zeman snaffles one and is caught when the taste makes him burst into tears. Pack them carefully. Don't bruise them. Your cache of curiosity's quantity has gone. You've lost two terror. And we've gained five supplies. Not bad. But I am really, really worried about our terror now. 
So let's get out of here before that other one catches us up. Alright, there we want the lighthouse and we want the sisters. We're heading more or less in the right way, so let's just carry on south. Very worried about fuel. It's getting rather low. Let's. It'd be a shame if that is what kills us. I have a nasty feeling that I wasted some of it. Right, here's our first stop. dock. Okay, let's dock the light ship. Speak to the crew. They long for news of home. Tea beneath the light. In the bleaching glare of the lens, amongst the smell of oils and metal, you sip tea and chat. The Z's terror resides. So we've lost two terror, and we've lost one recent news. Not bad. Not bad. Could hoping for a bit more, but not bad. Okay, is there any of this stuff? No? Okay, let's get out of here then. Oh, straight to the path of those bats. How useful. Right, we're down to one fuel left after this. Let's see if we can dodge them. Nope. Looks like we're going to have to fight. 67, great. Okay, a couple of them, a couple of them if that illuminates enough, we'll see in a second, 17, no that's probably not going to illuminate enough, let's stick another illumination up, there we go, 35, yeah that's probably going to put us over 50 isn't it, 60 that'll do, uh, we're gonna win this. Yes, here we go. Ah, they do do another attack. Smell fear. Interesting. Okay, uh, we will slightly reduce terror. 65, that's good. More bats. No, let's run away. Are we going to make it? No, we're not. Continue. Light, light, light. Shoot. Fortunately, these are not really a problem now. Yes, we're going to need the third light just. Would you believe it? That um, Lifeberg was terrifying, but um, not that dangerous. Right, we'll take the the, uh, the terror bonus. One of the slight problems is I think fighting these bats actually increases your terror. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so, oh, sorry, I was just distracted by those bats there, and I don't want to go into Hunter's Keep because I'm really, really stressed about the amount of fuel we have, so let's just head to, to for fall in London. Home waters, the crew dawdle on the rail, watching for the lights of London. Here we go, wrong side of the docks, but nearly there. The air trembles, a breath of change passes. Oh no, we've run out of fuel. What can we do? Desperate measures. Without fuel, your ship is just an oddly shaped house located somewhere you don't want to live. 
This will disappear as soon as you have some fuel. You're in a position to purchase some? Don't worry about it. Search your supplies for something of use. We can do that, but it will cost us two supplies. Abandon hope? There is nothing you can do. Abandon both hope and ship. Uh, very little remains to you, but if you're lucky, perhaps there's something you can use. But that will only cost us... Okay, look at the looks of it. This will cost us one fuel, it might work. One supplies, it might work. This will cost us two supplies, and probably will work. Uh, we don't have much in the way of supplies either, so... Ah, let's go with this one. There we go, one fuel. Look how close we were to the docks. Look how close we were. That is unfair. <laughs> uh, let's get into the dock. A breath of relief. As soon as the gangplank touches the quayside, the terrors of the deep Z lighten. Walk taller, smile more readily, but what dreams may cling. Coming home. Terror is always reduced by 50 when you return to London, if it is higher. However, if your terror was high, you may suffer nightmares later. Interesting. Right, so we've lost 50 terror, that's good, but we've gained one nightmare strength. Yes. Collect messages from the harbour master. What's this? Let's see. A blind bruiser would like a word. Something has changed in the neath. Okay. All right. Let's have a. Let's have a. Okay. Here we go. A little proposal. Good evening, Captain. And what a marvellous evening it is, if you don't mind me saying so. And given that it is my impression you are an obliging sort, I imagine you will not mind at all. And, you sit, and since you are so obliging, perhaps you wouldn't mind taking a little detour via Mount Palmerston with a few articles of cargo. Here it comes. If you happen to be in the area, the cheery man will of course cover your expenses for this trifling inconvenience. Problem here is... We don't know where it is, but I think we're going to have to take this one regardless. There we go. That's useful. Mount Palmerston is generally somewhere in northeast of London, so we probably have seen it. If you'll be so kind as to deliver this little gift to our friends in Mount Palmerston, they will see it. They will see we get to hear about it, and when you come back, we will cover your expenses. Bon voyage, as my aunt, who was French by birth if not by inclination, used to say. <laughs> you agreed to smuggle souls from London to Mount Palmerston. You now have one unstamped crate of bottled souls. So, let's see what else is happening. A visit to Clathamont's Tattoo Parlour. Why not? Ah. Interesting. You're a real Zayla now, after all. You could do with one of those tobacco and prey places by the docks. But the prices at Clathamont's are reasonable, and his daughters are real artists. But what sign would you choose? The Dauntless Hand. Commemorate your daring. This will increase your iron by two permanently and cure up to 25 points of terror. The, meal of, the Wheel of Mists. Commemorate your Zalo skills. This will increase your veils by two permanently and cure up to 25 points of terror. The unflinching eye. This will increase your mirrors by two. The splendor. Something to recall brighter days. This will increase your hearts by two. The gambit. Some of Clavermont's tattoos are coded messages for spies. Perhaps you have a hidden motive. This will increase your pages by two and cure up to 25 points of terror. Or we can remain unblemished. Um. Yeah. Mirrors or iron would help us at the moment. Losing terror would certainly help us at the moment. Hmm. Okay. How much does it cost, by the way? Oh, only one echo. All right. 
Okay, let's increase our mirrors by two. That's locked. Uh, memory of distant shores. Annoying. One Z story. One tale of terror. Right. Let's do the tale of terror. The gold needle pricks. Lily Clevermont hums. The design is complete. Wear it proudly. Okay, we've lost one echo. An occurrence, your own sweet skin quality is now the dauntless hand. I've lost 25 terror, which has got us down to 25. We've gained two iron, and we've lost one tail of terror. That'll do. That'll do. Pop to our lodgings. Read the morning papers. Okay, we've lost one terror. No extra fragments. And we now have some recent news. Excellent. Okay, I don't think we... Well, no, I don't think we need to rest. It costs us a bit of uh, money that we don't have. And we can't do with any of the rest just yet. So, let's go to the Admiralty Survey Office. Okay, report of vendor bite. No extra favour. But we've gained 10 echo, that's nice. Wither. We've gained one. Oh. Hmm. Did you see that? Right, we've gained one Admiralty's favour. Our visit to Wither has been confirmed, and we never. We gained 20 echo. That was profitable. Okay, speak to the dark spectacled Admiral. Okay, the Admiralty's picket fleets and intelligent networks are long gone. The survey office pays Z captains a small sum for recent information. Ask to speak to the dark spectacled admiral. Do you have an appointment? No appointment, but hmm, apparently I'm to show you in any way. Very well. You are ushered into his office, off Mansion's Pyre, a cramped room with a dark, with a vast desk. He surveys you across the desk. Ah, yes. The merchant captain of whom we hear such complicated things. The Admiral will purchase intelligence from you. Okay, we can ask what he needs. We can submit our port reports. We can submit a relevatory chart, which we don't have. And we can speak of moves in the great game, which we don't know about. So, let's do the ones we do. Ask what he needs. Information. Visit a port, and we will be interested in the port report. Visit places of particular interest, and we will be interested in the strategic information you gain thereby. We will pay you well, don't worry. We understand you can't be expected to act entirely for your love of empire. His lip curls. What's left of it? Okay. Submit your port reports. Okay, right, I think we're done there. Interesting. We now have access to the Admiral. We've done the lodging. Let's have a quick look here. Um, visit the University. We can. We have a secret. Uh, okay, and we have no antiquarian, so let's visit the University. Ah, another another event. Quite impressed. Oh yes, the university's maritime liaison whispers breathily. Oh yes, this is quite a tasty one. Let me explain it to you. She? He? Explains, teeth glinting. If you can't tell the difference, that is scary. You've gained one pages, now fifty-one. Yes. And twist in the tail, we're now an antiquarian. Interesting. And we've lost a secret. The Alarming Scholar The Alarming Scholar is mercurial, to say the least, a creature of sudden moods and provoking teeth. Possibly her. Is it her? Looking at the picture, I'm not sure. Appointment to the University Maritime Liaison was precautionary to keep his? Is it his? Razor-sharp enthusiasm from causing too many injuries in the faculty. Ah, yes, the Scholar whispers breathily. I have a budget for acquisitions. What have you bought me? A Z story, or an outlandish artifact? We have both. Let's give it a try. The 
Difficult dictation. Thrilling. Let me hear every detail. First, I must find my fountain pen. Oh, how regrettable it is. It is has a spider impaled on a nib. Excuse me. Let me. Good heavens, it's still alive. Pass me that volume of Gibbon. There we go. Do you have another pen? Right, we've gained 10 echo, we've lost a Z story, and our antiquarian rating is increasing. And let's drop off our outlandish artifact as well. A careful scrutiny. We have something like that, she, he declares, but not very like that. Interesting. I have some ideas about suitable fees. Right, we've got antiquarian to two, we've lost our outlandish artifact, but we've gained... 100 echo. Very nice. The university was very profitable. We can hire on more crew, but we've got eight. I think that's good enough. We can put in the dry dock, but we're almost at full hit points. We can offer to, to more tomb colonists. Yes, I think we will, because... Let's be honest, we made some good money out of that last time, and we're going in more or less the same direction. Um... Through the new recruit. Let's see what the new recruit is like. Who waits her attention? Engage an officer, the genial magician. Good afternoon, Captain. Perhaps I can do your engine some good. No? Ha ha! I'm quite the engineer. Difficult to credit, isn't it? But here are my references. The genial magician increases veils and mirrors. Okay, and... Ah, okay, we got another one. Engage an officer, the tireless mechanic. Afternoon. Ready to offer my services. I'm an engineer. Finest you'll ever hire. Treat engines like my own children. Not that I have children. Too busy working. Always busy working. Ha ha, yes. Well. Okay. The tireless mechanic increases veils and fuel efficiency. Oh, dear. <sighs> I could use both of them. I don't think I'm going to have both of them. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, three, four. Right. What should we do? Mirrors would help us in a fight. Fuel efficiency would help us fighting around. Veils in general just helps us. Hmm. Let's do fuel efficiency. Welcome aboard. Spot of rust, spot of rust, soon see to that. You there, help me with this spot of rust. You employ, uh, appoint your new officer by dragging him from the officer's tab to the top of the screen. Do this in the port, not at sea, or you may unsettle your crew. Okay, well let's do that now. Officers. Tireless mechanic. Fails at a plus eight, very nice. Fuel efficiency plus five percent, which is not saying much, but still. Surgeon, gunnery officer, cook, chief engineer. There we go, and we'll have a talk to him before we leave the port. So where were we? We were in fallen London, weren't we? Okay, so hire on more crew. Don't think we need to do that now. New recruit is now locked. We are effectively ready to put disease, so let's have a look at the rest of the tab. Shops. <sighs> Should we buy some stuff to see if we can sell it? We have a bit of money now. Um, mushroom wine we can afford, prisoner's honey we can afford. Actually, we can afford all of this, but I don't know what any of it is. Or indeed if there is a market for it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's pick up something, just to see, say that we have it. Let's pick up a cask of mushroom wine. There we go. And the rest of the, uh... Okay, we need fuel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There goes all our money. Okay, so we're done. Um, I think we're getting near the close to the end of this episode now. But before we do, let's have a chat with our new officer. Speak to the tireless mechanic. Hello, hello, busy now, but always got time for you. I can increase my veils unless it's a higher than 150. With a secret, we have one. Yes, let's do that, shall we? There we go. Of course, of course, and for this, and also this. Don't forget this, and never, never forget that. 
You've gained one veils, but lost one secret. A good exchange, I would say. Okay, guys. I think that's enough for one episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please like and subscribe. I've been Simon, and this has been Sunless Sea.